but she's coming over now. Okay, let's go live. Okay. Hello. Hi there. How are you, Shania? I'm great, thank you. So you have the first ever fifth chair on The Voice. How cool is that? It's way cool. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm I'm on top of the world. How has this whole experience been for you this week? You've been working with the contestants all week long. Has it been tougher or easier than you expected? I feel so at home with this. Everybody's made me feel at home, first of all. The contestants have been so gracious and they, they're so grateful to have the opportunity um, with, their, with their own coaches and then to have another objective ear coming in. They are ready to learn. They're open-minded. And so that was like, wow, okay, this is, this is great. This is the way it should be. This is a great working environment. And, and then the coaches themselves have been just very warm and welcoming. And it's been a true team community spirit all the way. Now, I wanted to ask you a little bit about your experience with the coaches. I know you knew Alicia before this, right? Um, so who did you kind of get close with through this experience? Well, I have I think the only person that I'd never met was Blake. Which is crazy to me. Person. Um, so Gwen I'd met many years ago at the Super Bowl. Okay. And this was like pre-children for her, pre-marriage for her. So that was... It was fun just reminiscing about all of that. Oh, my gosh. Um, and, uh, I mean, Adam, we have a history together. He recorded a lot of music at a studio uh, in, on my home, at my home in Switzerland and got to know my son really well. So we have my son in common more than anything. <laughs> and so we have more of a, a, a family connection there. Yeah. So. Um, well, what did you think of Blake the first time you met him? You know, he, he is just really sweet and kind. And he was very nurturing and caring and welcoming to me. So he's a gentleman. Yes, yes. Yeah. And he's very funny. He's so witty. He's <laughs> yeah. so funny. Yeah. And he knows all my songs. Of course he knows all your songs. You're Shania Twain. No, I know. But I'm just thinking, okay. And uh, he was just really great. He was... Um, like I said, he's a, he's a true gentleman. Yeah. yeah. Would you ever consider a full-time gig on a show like this? I would totally do it. Yeah. You know, I'd never really, um, I never really had the, the timing was never right for me, but I don't know. This has been such a great experience. I mean, I think I'm just going to move in. <laughs> I'm just, they don't know it yet. Yes. Yes. I love yes. it. I think they'd be happy. Hi. Hi. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, You're so gorgeous. Queens, how excited Queen. are you? How excited are you for tonight, though? I'm so After all excited. That. It's so, so much fun. fun. Uh, how much fun did you have with her, Gwen? Meet with Shania. Am I going to be into this interview now? Yeah, just come say we hi. Had an amazing time. <laughs> I've, and also, really since fun. like when I found out you were coming, I had an amazing time going back and like listening to all the songs and googling you and like the whole thing, and then then getting to know you a little bit, and then working together, and then Googling you again, and even <laughs> learning more. Like, it was just a fun, it's been Shania week for What's me. What's your favorite song, and are you going to Stagecoach this weekend? I'm not. Um, what do I, what am I doing this weekend? I can't remember. I probably have kids. Oh, yeah, I do. Three. Um, my favorite song is um, um, I'm Still the One, but I already told you that. You did tell me. It's like the we perfect song. You know, yeah. I was telling about right. the Super Bowl, yeah. So it was nice to reunite. Aww. And she and looks exactly wait. the same. I love you. Show. And you know what? Aww. I can't wait for the new record because I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let you go, Gwen. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> We're hijacking interviews over here. I'll see you in a minute, Adam. Adam's a little jealous right now, Shania. <laughs> um, okay, we got to talk about the new music. What are you working on right now? Well, I have a new single coming out in June, so I'm starting. I'm kicking off the summer with the new song, and then I'm finishing the summer with the release of the album, Summer of Shania. Summer of Shania. That's okay. how I feel. And so it's going to be the you know, best summer ever for me. It's been such a long time since I put out a studio album and I wrote the whole album myself. So it's a real statement of independence. Creative independence has been something that I haven't had in a really long time. And it was really scary taking that leap. So I, I took it, the album's done, and I feel really good. I feel relieved, I feel good. Um, and the first single is just, it's 
so optimistic and hopeful, uh, regardless of how bad life can get. And I really needed that message. I uh, I needed the whole album. The whole album oh, was really therapy. It was like therapy. Uh, it jinx. totally was. It <laughs> totally therapy. was therapy. And it worked. Music is my is my therapy. It's my drugs. Songwriting especially. Okay. Uh, more than anything in music because it it's my outlet, my emotional outlet. On of any emotion, whether it's sadness, anger, um, you know, happiness, inspiration, whatever it is, it all comes out best in my songwriting. Well, I cannot wait to hear it. Please tell me you're going to play something new at Stagecoach. I will. Yes. I'll, I'll play the first single. Oh my gosh, so exciting. I cannot wait. Is that going to be the first time anyone hears the single? Yes. Yeah, wow. That will be the debut of the single, yeah. So how is prepping for Stagecoach going? Headlining Saturday night, so exciting. It's going great. I'm, yeah. you know, it's going great. I'm with, you know, my band that I've had around for a while now, and um, it's it's like home. It feels like home, and it, it's all very comfortable, and we've got some exciting stage production ideas that I'm enjoying, and I love that part of it. I love the creative side of it. I don't like just showing up and singing. I really love being involved in the development of the whole thing. Okay. And so that I really understand and can give my direction on the experience I want the fans to have. Um, so that's where I'm at right now with the rehearsals, getting involved in all of that. So what's inspiring you with this show? Like, what do you hope audiences take away from it? Well, I hope that they're reminded how fun it can be to be at a Shania Twain concert. <laughs> and I hope that I can exude that you know, a positive energy. This is really what I want to, this is the effect I want to have on people. Okay. Um, you know, we all have crap in our lives and, but you know, gee, music is such a great place to, com you know, to commune mm -hmm. and forget about our worries together yeah. or, and maybe shed a tear together, you know, whatever that is, we're all in it together. And it's, and you know, stagecoach is a big party. So this yeah. is oh, yeah. the time to like, <laughs> everybody together just get into the mode and we're all one you know this is the type of environment where i feel that that sure. it's, this is what it's all about any special guests or anything like that planned no not at the okay. moment i okay. wanted billy currington to come and sing with me um but what it's happened? not there it's not, it's uh, not gonna be around. Yeah. dang doesn't billy know when shania calls you come <laughs> thank you so much thank you i want to give you a hug even though i might get caught here have so nice much fun too. tonight on the live I, show. Oh, I so will. Are you kidding? Ah, uh, no, it's going to be great. Can't wait. We'll be watching. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you, Shania. Thanks. How cool was that, you guys? I'm Sophie Schlazy. We're here at The Voice, in case you couldn't tell by uh, all the signage behind me. That was the legendary Shania Twain. Uh, she's been working with the artists all week long um, as the key advisor across all four teams. So she also is going to be sitting in a big red chair tonight on the live show. This is the first time ever. This is the first time ever they've added a fifth chair for someone so it's really really exciting um are you guys tuning in tonight like tell me what you're thinking how's it going out there yes ah <laughs> blonde queens how fun was that moment too between the two of them i love all the the girl power around here last week alicia was totally fangirling out over shania so i love seeing gwen do it too someone said the voice is starting here in australia last night oh very cool. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, I forget that you guys can't hear my lovely producer Kristen over here is reading me your comments. Um, so the voice in Australia, that's awesome, you guys. And um, we've got Gwen and Adam. They are doing one more interview. They're going to be coming right back here. So sit tight. We did just talk to Stephanie Rice. She came into our ET studio on Friday. She, of course, started on Team Gwen. Now she's on Team Alicia. She just has such an inspiring story. I loved talking to her. If you haven't seen that interview, it is up. The full thing is up on Facebook Live, so you can go back and check it out. It was from Friday. Um, and she was just so much fun, and she has such a great story. And um, I know she's really, really excited and, and nervous about tonight, but she told me that Alicia handpicked a song for her that is telling her story exactly now i don't know what song that is but stephanie told me when she was reading the lyrics and learning the song it was just totally crazy oh i see i'm watching for gwen and adam right over here they just went to go do something else but they are coming back i promise you guys so 
sit tight. But um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Stephanie sings tonight. Definitely keep an eye out for that. Ben, you're so excited for Shania. Me too. She is awesome. I can't wait to see some of the packages. I'm really excited to see um, her and Blake meeting for the first time. I think that's really, really cool. I can't believe they didn't know each other. I know. I was shocked that they didn't know each other already. You know, the country music world is its such a small, tight-knit community. It is, uh, it's kind of funny that they hadn't met until now. But that's the voice, bringing people together. <laughs> Ricky, you're loving season 12. What do you guys think of the coaches this season? Because I think these four, their chemistry is just insane. Like, it's been so much fun to watch. I hope you guys feel the same way. Definitely do. Lots yeah. of hearts coming through. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. Lots of hearts. <laughs> Andrew from Oregon says, wait, more Shania, come back. More Shania. Shania's got other interviews to do, but we love her. I'm so excited to hear her new music. So um, I'll just repeat what she said earlier. If anybody is going to stagecoach this weekend, I'm going to stagecoach this weekend. She is going to do the world premiere of her brand new single. So that'll be something really exciting to look forward to on Saturday night. We did talk about Shania's new album. You can go watch the playback after we're done here. <laughs> She'll tell you all about it. She said that uh, music is her therapy, and she wrote every song on her new album. So that's really, really cool. I am still peeking over my shoulder at Gwen and Adam. How awesome does Gwen look, you guys? Look at those sparkles. And I love her curly hair. The blonde curly hair is having a moment tonight, you guys. I'm obsessed. Um, Alicia is awesome, Brenda. Best season ever. Patricia, totally agree with you. And I think the contestants are so, so talented this year, too. Um, not that they they haven't been talented before. They always are. But something there's something special about this season, I think. Teresa in Ireland. I was just in Ireland. I went to Dublin for St. Patrick's Day. That is awesome. You're watching all the way out there. And I love that you love Shania as much as we do. <laughs> Of course, we all love Blunt. <laughs> I call, what is I saying? Blake, Blunt, Shafani. You guys, it all blends together for me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, getting ready. Gwen is stunning. Oh, and here they come. No, they're going away. Oh, they're going to take a photo, you guys. Rick, you want to show them? These two are posing for a photo right now, and then they're going to come over. Yeah. The fans would rather look at those two. They don't need to look at me. <laughs> Just cheesing over there. Come back. Come back. Please. Don't do me like that, Adam. <laughs> I love the kicks. Thanks. Awesome. Look. Love this look on you. Thank you. Miss. Oh it's my so, gosh. That's one of the fun parts. Oh, I'm going to be in the middle today. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Um, is this okay, Ricardo, for the camera? Or you, you want me to move? Why don't we move you on closer to your friend? I'll be on this side. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Adam. Bye. Um, it's Shania Twain night, you guys. Yes, it is. How cool is that? It's been really, really, really fun. I mean, I... One of my all-time favorite t songs ever mm -hmm. is still the one. She wrote yeah. that, so it's so good. <laughs> and so anyways, it's just been fun to get to know her, like even not working with her, but just talking to her and yeah. I don't know. She's awesome. She is awesome. Adam, care to add? How much of a fan are you of Shania? I, I understand you know her son, right? Yes, he's yeah. the great, like, nicest kid. The last time I saw him, he was eight. Now he's 15, which is crazy. Aww. I can't believe it. When um, did you see him last time? Many, many, many years ago. We were actually recording an album out there in Switzerland. Oh, you were? Yeah. Yeah, that's no. pretty cool to record an album at Shania Twain's house in Switzerland. Like, it was, it was we, we did. What? <laughs> yeah. It was, it was an amazing experience. Um, and, like, that little kid was so cool, and I just knew he was going to, like, kind of grow up and be an awesome. I, I have only seen pictures of him now. I haven't talked to him in, or seen him in so long. So. Uh, well, that's yeah. awesome. He's a good boy. Good kid. And his mom is pretty cool, too. We're She's very excited. About us. Yeah. Yes, yes. Gwen, I got to talk about this outfit. Let's talk about um, it. <laughs> I'm curious, though. Do you have, like, the an aesthetic? The fierce. <laughs> the major boots. <laughs> and the nails all the way down to the mani. Totally yeah, major. Might as well. Might as well. <laughs> got it down, girl. Uh, do you go into each season kind of with an aesthetic vision, or do you just kind of pick whatever's speaking to you? 
no, we just go kind of week by week, day by day, and like whatever, you know, whatever my girl Mariel can get me, and we just like try it on and make it happen. But it's yeah. fun. I mean, I really love the process. Like, for, I, I'm like perfect for the show because I'm like, <laughs> give it to me, give me another look. I love yeah. it. It's so much fun. We all have fun, and I'm everybody. Exactly like that too. But, but you <laughs> yeah. are. Look at him. He he makes an effort. Look at this new. How many outfits does Gwen try on? How many does Adam try on before show? <laughs> <laughs> a lot, a little. Yeah. Okay. Like I just but find I whatever fun. on the rack will be the least path path of least resistance. Like you guys are really comfortable and like in a yeah. sweater. And How I'm comfortable like, are you? Like, I actually like today really I'm stressed. actually really comfortable, but I've had some okay. major I had that one that almost yeah. strangled me this season, that <laughs> neck oh, yeah, thing, like remember? Very, yeah. <laughs> that was like, like, like hey guys. Like I think I have actually a like a permanent scar from that dress. Oh no. Some worth it though? No, no, <laughs> no, it was not worth it. I respect the lengths you go to for your fashion because yes. I won't go to those lengths. And I always think it's I a really good idea it. until I'm really cold or really uncomfortable. And I'm like, what am I doing? But I it's fun getting dressed up. So I think this is kind of an extension of fashion. I know I need to let you go. I've been, want, I've been dying to ask you about those fake tattoos your boys were rocking, matching Blake. What would you ever do if they wanted to get a real tattoo? She's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even hide it. Those weren't my kids. <laughs> Who are they? Weird. Everyone keeps saying that. No. Um, anyways, uh, oh. I uh, <laughs> gullible. <What's happening? laughs> I I I don't know. Tattoos are you know. Is your mom mad at you for those? You just grazed my nipple. I was trying to like find no, the tattoos. Like, oh, yeah. There's so oh, many, no. right? There's a lot. There's a lot. They're everywhere. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like my niece just got like a bunch of tattoos and really? I'm really mad at her. She's 21. Oh, no. she's, a, she's I'm like, what are you doing? Like, well, but I don't know. For, I just, I just, I just, I don't know. Like there's nothing wrong with Let's them. Let's delve into that. What is it about tattoos that you do not like? <laughs> I feel the like life is a journey. And once you do that, like life is a journey. Get it right here. Life is a journey. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 have not, I like tattoos. If my kids wanted to get one, I would hope that they would like, we could talk about what it is so that we don't have big regrets okay. in the future. That's it. Okay, guys? <laughs> Got it. But I think Dusty Rose is probably going to want some someday. Probably not. because No? I, no, I'm, that's why I have them. I, I got them so she wouldn't think they were cool, and she wouldn't want them. See, it was reverse. Hopefully idea. they won't get one thing. like Blake's tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> no Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching.